guys. I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Winter NAMM 2014 at the J Rocket Audio booth. We've got Pete Thorne on guitar here. Pete, of course, writes a great column for Premier Guitar. Check that out online. And we've got Ford here who's going to tell us about the new pedals here, five of them. Yeah, this is a new line that J Rat's coming out. It's J Rocket Audio Designs. And what it is is their small footprint design that um, is ruggedly housed. I mean, this thing, you don't want to drop it on your foot, but you put it on your board. You can get on the plane flight, throw it on the bus, do whatever you want to do with it. It's never, ever going to dent or fall apart. Um, it also is cool is because you have those micro pedals that are out now, but in my experience, they tend to flop over if they're not close enough to another pedal. With this, we're finding that this is like the perfect size. You can get eight pedals on a single pedal train mini board. But the cool uh, thing is that these pedals also house a battery. A nine volt fits in there as well, which is great. Just really a mini series that's just for the road, and it just um, it takes all the abuse that you can throw at them, and they sound great. So. Now I, it's kind of loud in here, so we can yeah. hear if you said it specifically. But again, as you can see, like yeah. the reason you can fit them all so close together is because the jacks are all on the top. Right, well, the jacks are all on the top. They were on the side. That would pretty much screw your deal up. But uh, here, I, I'm seeing you can put eight on here. You know, put seven in a tuner. Now these things are so new for you guys that they're they're in prototype cases, right? Yeah, With, yeah. They don't even have designations for pedals, so you yeah. you've uh, thank God you know which one's which. But first up, we're looking at what? Which we have here is the delay. Um, this delay is pretty simple. You have your uh, your volume, your repeats, your output, and your modulation knob, which is basically your flutter. Your modulation is really great. But do a little sample of it. <laughs> For those who are wondering, we're hearing it through a Magnetone Twilighter, right? And what's the guitar here? That's a Mario Martin uh, custom Telecaster. Thank you, Mario. It's a great guitar. Is that the Evertune yeah, bridge on it? Yeah, it's got the Evertune bridge on it, too. I've never tried this before. Yeah, like, so you didn't even know he had it, but it's great. <laughs> All right, cool. Next yeah. up after the delay. Okay, we have the uh, Spring Reverb, which I'm really digging a lot. Everybody needs reverb. Reverb makes the world a better place, so let's give you some, some quick stabs. Yeah. So single knob is yeah. just... Single knob. I mean, it doesn't get more uh, simple than that. It pretty much speaks for itself. It just is what it is. Sounds really good. Very it does sound, It's yeah. great. If you do the Van Halen thing or anything from that, the Johnny Cash, it, I mean, it does. It delivers the old style country thing great for chicken picking. Rock and roll, it's awesome. Simple. Turn the knob, find the spot that you like, and go rock and roll. You know? Set it mild. Now, are the, are the uh, delay and reverb analog or digital? Uh, or? Yeah, yeah. They're analog. Uh, the uh, spring reverb is a digital verb. This is analog. Delay is an all analog path. Okay. Okay. All right, so up next here is? This is the Tweed Circuit pedal. I have an original 57 Tweed Deluxe in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, I plug this into a pro reverb or a twin reverb, and it makes the amplifier just scream Tweed. It's, it's perfect. So it's very simple. Hit them a little bit. Ford, next up, you've got a Marshall pedal, Marshall yeah. style pedal. I mean, everyone's got to have one, right? It makes the world a better place to have a great Marshall. So that's what we went after, making this in a box. It's small. It would take a battery. It's durable, and it does everything for 149 bucks. <laughs> Is it voiced after like a Plexi? Or? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. It's like a straight up super lead. Just awesome. Let it rip. All right, let's hear that. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. But uh, you have you know volume gain, treble and bass. Very simple. You can set everything pretty much at noon, and it's going to sound great right out of the box. A lot of work went into that pedal. It's great. Very nice. OK, last but not least. Right. What we have here is for all of you deadheads out there and all of you people that like the funky stuff, this is what we have. <laughs> all right, get funky. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sensitivity, it's sensitivity, and you basically have your threshold, and you just turn these till you find the tone you like. There you go, it's gonna quack more. Give me some signal there, yeah. It, 
it, it, you know, you can use it like a Wawa pedal if you want. Um, but like an envelope builder or a Qtron, it's just a very small version of that and an affordable package. It's small and you can get on the road with it and, and get your Jerry Garcia on. It's Sweet. Cool. It's cool. All right, so where can everyone go to find out more about all these pedals and all the other stuff you guys do? We can go to rocketpedals.com. Uh, get online and uh, they have a website that's full of information, tells you everything you need to know. Because as you can see, uh, Rockets has been very busy making yeah, pedals. Yeah, you guys have a lot of other stuff. Lots okay. of other stuff. I mean, you have the new Tim Pierce pedal, you have the lead boots, the Revolver, which is like a magnetone amplifier. It's the best vibe pedal out there. And you have Mark Sampson, who's standing right there. You have the new Max Boost, and you have his high top, which is an unbelievable DC-30 in a box. Right. Okay. Mark Sampson, of course, of matchless fame. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to say goodbye. Thanks for Thanks, Pete. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com. Thanks for watching.